Sunshine Wild Pack, it's Bernadette. And I'm here with your Pick a Card Tarot reading for Saturday, May 22nd, 2021. Just to let you all know, this is pre recorded. I'm pre recording it right before the live on Thursday night um, because this beautiful Saturday and Sunday, I will be away from technology as much as possible. Uh, I need a sabbatical, just a short one, you guys. So uh, if you are over on the forums, I won't be all that active this weekend. Uh, but I hope you have a good time and I'll catch up with you sometime on Sunday. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel yet and you love metaphysical madness and goodness and everything metaphysical, subscribe to my YouTube channel, hit the little ringy dingy bell. And that way you don't miss out on anything. You can't miss out on anything and you get all the alerts. So uh, this is really kind of an interesting thing got going on here uh, because the, the scarab, which is the 10 of wands, has, has come out for you all today. But it's really interesting because I saw uh, how it happens in my psychic mind. There are certain symbols and, you know, that kind of thing that I, uh, you know, that I have with spirit when it sends me this image or this vision, it means this or it means this or it means this, right? So what I saw this time was three separate compartments. And what that means is I'm going to throw this necklace away. That's number one. And <laughs> number two, uh, this, this reading for you all today, actually, it's like, this third of it is going to belong to this, some of y'all, and this third of it is going to belong to some of y'all, and this third of it is going to belong to some of y'all. So let me get started with the first one, which is, um, when I, uh, when I really stepped into the energy of this card, I saw a scene from, <laughs> yes, I did. I saw a scene from Men in Black, you know, the, the series of movies, Men in Black. And it's one of them, uh, I think it was the first one where the little beetle or this or that, and you've seen this in a lot of movies where it looks like a bug, it looks like a beetle, it looks like something, and it's flying around. And really what it is, is actually a, a little drone, right? And I was like, wow, that's a new one. What does that mean? And here's what I was told. If you're struggling with technology or you're afraid of technology or you're trying to learn technology and you're, you know, I, I don't know, but there's some kerfuffle going on about technology and this could be anything. This could be that your kids are spending too much time on their iPads or their phones. It could be that you, you know, you, you want to know anything about anything having to do with technology. That's just the bottom line. It doesn't matter what's going on. It, it's something about technology, right? Okay. And in that, um, you're supposed to really persevere and know that you can grasp what this is that you're trying to grasp. Or if it is that there is an argument about technology, again, somebody's on it too much. Um, you know, uh, this could even extend to if you have suspicions about your, about your mate, about your partner, and, and why they're spending so much time on technology or they get very secretive when you get around them and they're on their phone or they're on their computer, that you are supposed to step into learning what you need to learn about technology so that you can help yourself. I don't know exactly what that means. It's, it's a little bit of an unusual message to come through, but it is so, you're, let me repeat this, you're supposed to learn about technology so you can help yourself. And there you have it. So that's one part of the message. The next part of the message is uh, uh, beetles, scarabs, uh, are the strongest animal on earth. And how that's gauged is they can lift and push a thousand, like 1100 times their own body weight. So in terms of, you know, body weight versus what you can do physically, beetles are the strongest animal on earth. And they're so tiny. However, that said, uh, a scarab is a dung beetle and, you know, they, they, they live in poo, y'all. They, they roll it. <laughs> if you've never seen a dung beetle or any kind of beetle push these little, you know, balls or bigger balls of dung across, you know, it can really make you think you're losing your mind. You're like, I'm sorry, did I just see four or five, but what am I looking at? It's pretty funny. Uh, and and, and there's a, you know, this could go down the comedy, the comedy vein, right? I mean, I can think of a million jokes right now, but really what I'm seeing is whatever poo is around you, whatever, um, and this goes both ways. Cause when I see this in, in my mind and spirit, it means either two, 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 or it goes both ways. Uh, 
And what that means is if poo is rolling downhill onto you, you got to get out of the way. That's it. You just got to get out of the way. Don't let any more poo flow downhill on you. Number two, uh, let's say you've just had enough of poo. Well, it, the other people aren't going to clear it away. You've got to clear it away. And in doing that, you, you, you can actually clear it out of your way. Now, while a dung beetle does that to, you know, do all the things they do with dung, which is poo, uh, that's not what the message is for you about this. This is about, you've got to roll your own dung balls out of your life. <laughs> yes, I just said that. Roll your own dung balls out of your life. <laughs> I'm such a classy psychic. <laughs> oh, I can't help it. I only, I, well, I can say what, the, I only say what they tell me to say. So, um, that, that is actually um, a call for you to know that you're stronger than you think you are and that you can just very easily, just naturally roll that right out of your life. Because when I step deeper into the energy of the collective, especially because, so when I do, just so you know, when I do readings that are pre-recorded, I simply step into the energy of Saturday morning and I... Uh, I feel the collective, the wild pack energy at that time. I work through that energy. I ask spirit to bring me the right animal, the right card, the right, whatever for you, for you all on that, on that particular day and time. And so there's something really deeply going on out there with y'all where you just, um, I just feel like the en the energy is heavy, not for every single person, but the energy is heavy and uh, you just really feel like you just are in the middle of a poo storm, you know, the S word, S storm. And uh, you are, but only you can get you out of that. You know, only you can keep it rolling, 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 keep those doggies rolling raw high. That's the third message, or excuse me, the second message. The third message is, I, I don't, I'm trying to, I'm, I'm asking them how exactly to describe this because it, 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 it's unusual. I've never had this come through before with this card or anything else. I keep, I keep seeing the pyramids now, you know, um, to the Egyptians, uh, Scarab is a great, um, uh, just a, huge in their culture for symbolism. And, you know, it was kind of like the big Egyptian thing, right? But I keep seeing the tops of the pyramids and I keep hearing the word apex, apex, like an apex predator, right? You're at the top of the food chain. And I keep seeing that one little point right at the top of a pyramid. So for some of you, this might mean that you uh, are needing to work with pyramid energy. If you resonate with that kind of sacred geometry, um, I know a lot of people collect pyramid crystals of different kinds, but there's something about drawing that energy up, drawing that energy up so that it just comes like a laser right at the top of the apex, right? Right at the top of the, the point. And th there, there is something, um, oh, here's what it is. It is about your focus, but that can be your focus here, your focus here, your focus here, but it's your energetic focus. It's, you're not focused enough. You haven't narrowed down to specifically uh, what the problem is, what the solution is, um, what you want, what you don't want, what you like, what you don't like, what you'll put up with, what you won't put up with. Anything that you can think of a, you haven't decided this or that, you're being asked to really focus on it now. And when you do, again, make your energy just laser, laser, laser sharp so that when you do make that decision or when you release that energy, that it really is like a laser, but you've got to bring the energy up from the bottom. And, and the way that I'm seeing that in my mind is it's like, you know, for some of you that will be symbolic, for some of you, it will literally mean going out into Mother Gaia and asking the energy to rise up from the earth, you know, fill you uh, and then project you know, usually it's out of the top of your crown chakra. Um, you know, but you can make it anything you want. It's your life. It's your intention. It's your meditation. It's your healing. It's your this, it's your that. But again, I'm being asked to repeat that you are not focused enough, well enough, or, or 
on on something that you're trying to decide yes or no and it really does have you in a oh my god oh my god oh my god oh my god even if you're not freaking out you're back and forth and back and forth you're making yourself emotionally seasick you might be even making yourself mentally seasick by the back and forth and back and forth and back and forth so whatever you need to do to gather that energy up from the bottom and bottom and i keep hearing community community family family so let's say that you find your family or your community a really great source of power you, you're going to want to really step into that and not use them, but, but draw from them, but draw from them, whatever that means to you. It may be like for me, I, you, I, I gotta be out on technology for a couple of days. You guys, you see these eyes. I, I mean, I look like droopy go, uh, the bags under my eyes are so big. I could pack for Europe in them. So I just need to take a break. And, uh, but there will be a Sunday ceremony just so you know. Uh, and so I, I, the other thing that I keep seeing is just like the, just like the wands and the 10 of wands, it's this big stack of wands, 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 wands. I just see hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of them, which is my indicator for you all as an individual, right? You're an individual wand, so to speak. And for each one of you, there's going to be a different takeaway from this. And it's exactly like if you're watching this video, it's exactly what you needed to hear at the moment. It's exactly what you needed to see. And I'll bet that the timing is crazy. I'll bet that the day is crazy. I'll bet that based on conversations you've just recently had, it's crazy. It's synchronicity, right? Okay. Because everything is synchronicity. Um, and so I really hope that's very helpful. Um, I hope you all have the best weekend you could ever possibly have. I hope you take a break. Let's go over this again one more time. Technology, right? Learning about technology, making sure if the poo is flowing downhill to you, you get out of the way or you just move the poo out of your way. And then something about laser sharp focus and apex, it could even be pyramids, but there's something about that pinnacle, that very top point that's supposed to be very important to you today. So um, pick up your copy of the Arc Animal Tarot and Oracle deck, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Um, and what is the most important thing today and every day? Do good for animals, including yourself, and stay wild. <music>